Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I normally do food reviews in the car, but right now I'm in the car driving. I know I look like crap, but I'm on my way to pay my water bill. And then I'm going to try to do this indoor pool that the school has. And I'm, a, I'm not majorly upset, but you know, knowing that the city is draining me and my taxes on my home and I'm gonna have to pay all these back taxes on this land that was supposed to be mine that I've been squatting on for almost 10 years like the whole thing is just it kind of makes me more like sick because like I'm below the poverty level income why am I even paying money to go into a pool for the public um, but yeah, it's an indoor pool, and with my arthritis, I've been in there before a few years ago, and I was like freezing. I mean, literally freezing, because my air conditioner in the summertime is like 82 degrees, so I don't look forward to it. The only other option I really have is to go to the next town over. Well, the gas prices, and my old car eats up gas, and the fact that the reviews say that a lot of ghetto people go there and a lot of screaming kids that are like disrespectful da 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 da, -da and the fact that there's no shade at all and you know what I mean what's worse cold water or have to spend more money on gas wear and tear on the car and go to a ghetto area and then you're gonna get sunburned so what I'm doing is is I'm driving my car okay I'm about ready to pay the water bill I'm driving my car okay so that I can burn up and sweat that's why I'm wearing these these crappy clothes and then even though the shirt that that I have on or actually no that's my other shirt the, the shirt that I have on is like full of holes and it's like it's okay because like I don't want to see people see I don't want someone to see my rolls <laughs> my fat rolls in that pool so I'm gonna pay money electric bill and then I'll tell you what's next hello all right I'm back so I just paid I always pay a little extra on my water bill because <clears throat> driving up here is more gas like if I come up here every month to pay my water bill then that's just it's actually gonna cost me more money because of the gas now some people paid online they accept digital payment online but they charge extra fees for that like so yeah I, I pay like what I can on it anytime I have some extra money um, I remember one time I thought I had a credit and I didn't um, but yeah so <clears throat> I still would like to go to the Philippines and visit my boyfriend but he may be coming home now within a month or two and like the legality situation I keep calling legal aid and they keep answer they either don't answer it they answer it they hang up or they put me on wait or you know whatever it's 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 ridiculous and so I don't know like I definitely need to set up some sort of GoFundMe or GoFundMe type of something I'm surprised my phone is not dead because it's hot um, if it dies I apologize but like my windshield is still cracked and there's things that I could probably make my car fix you know get things in my car to make the gas better but like I'm just not I'm below the poverty level income so like if anyone that is watching this and you can help me or you want to help me please like send me some money or help me do a something you know because of the legal situation like I cannot afford I've said this before on this channel I cannot afford even just going to the pool like I think it's gonna be three dollars and like that's that is like quite a bit of money for me and now my device is saying it's hot so yeah I kind of wish I was just with my boyfriend right now I wish I was in a pool somewhere in a tropical place but that costs money, you know. 
Um, I'm supposed to be checking on flights, but it's not that I won't check on flights, but like I haven't been in a pool in so long. In my childhood home, we had above ground pool. My friend mentioned, why don't you get above ground pool? Well, that costs money. And I don't have a privacy fence. Like you cannot put a pool up without a privacy fence. You first of all, to put a pool up, especially since I'm on a main road, I can't hide it. Like I'm gonna have to get, pay the city for that. Then my taxes are gonna go up even more. They're also gonna tell me and, and have to pay them for the permit. Plus, on top of all that, I'm gonna have to get a privacy fence. I don't have that kind of money. Hello? And why would I even, let's pretend I did have the money, which I don't. But even if I could find the money to do that, until I found out the land situation, like I'm just pouring money into a property that, hello, like my house sits on land that I don't own. I didn't do anything illegal. Um, I'm trying to get a lawyer. I'm trying to get help. And the attorney that wants to help me is charging me money I don't have. A lot of attorneys tell me they don't, they're not gonna take the case. Like they flat out said, we won't take that case. And I'm like, I need help. Do you like my glasses, by the way? Dollar Tree. That's where I get a lot of my stuff from. My readers I get from Dollar Tree. And someone mentioned in the comments, how can you afford this expensive Evian water? Um, my insurance pays for my water. If I had to pay it myself, of course I wouldn't buy that water. I can't afford to buy bottled water. But my insurance gives me $100 a month to buy whatever I want at CVS or Walgreens. And I normally take prescription medicine. I do take Tylenol, but I just buy like the big bottle of Tylenol for like $18 and it lasts me for like six months or whatever. So other than that, it's just like, and it's use it or lose it. So it's not like, well, just cause you have the hundred dollars, do you have to blow it? Well, if I don't spend it at the end of the month, it's gone. So, and I would buy food, but what kind of healthy food does Walgreens have? And so I just bond up buying the water. Um, and other things too, like, you know, over the counter stuff, like if I'm running low on something or whatever, alcohol, peroxide, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm surprised I'm even out. I really am surprised I'm out because I just want to go back in that bed and curl up in a little ball and, and just, you know, because I feel like, well, there's no feeling to it. Like there's things I need to do. Like I need to get this land situation taken care of and I can't. Like, my hands are tied behind my back. And so that, you know, it's like an anxiety with that puts me in a fight or flight, you know, persona, mentality, outlook, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and then I just curl up into a ball and don't do anything. And I feel guilty going to this pool because I'm like, well, I'm trying to go in this pool. I could be doing other things like getting this and this fixed but I can't get that fixed. Or cleaning the house. But then <laughs> when I see the house is dirty, I'm like, well, should I really be doing that when I really should be doing something more important? And then it just all comes crashing in on me. I get overwhelmed. It's part of my mental problem. I have severe depression, that alone. Then the OCD and then the anxiety. And they all three, they feed off of each other. So one just makes the other one worse, or one pops up, and because of that, the other one will pop up and feed off of it. It's like if my, you know, if one pops up and says, here I am, the other one or the other two is gonna be like, oh, look, I wanna come into this situation too, don't leave me out. Next thing I know, I got all three, you know, feeding off of each other. I'm burning up and that's a good thing because hopefully it'll feel good when I go in that cool pool and I don't know what they charge now. I think they charge four dollars or maybe five a couple years ago. I, it better not be six. I've told them several times I'm low income. I'm below the poverty level income line. You know, can I just pay a dollar or two dollars? No. I think one time they let me get by with two dollars. 
And I think it, at that time, I think it was three or maybe four. I don't remember. Or maybe I paid three when it was four. Anyway, I know I was short a dollar or two. And uh, I didn't want to give them a whole bunch of change. I could have, but they were like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, okay. I mean, it's not like my taxes, my high, my high rate taxes are already paying. Should I get to the dollar? I'm on my way to the Dollar Tree because I need some bleach for the toilet. And then I need another pair of readers because I'm only down to one. I don't like spending money though. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like if I had money, it would be great to spend, but I don't have money to spend. So do you want to go in the Dollar Tree with me? I don't know if we can do that. I don't even know how much power I have left. But we'll try it. You want to try it? Let's go into Dollar Tree. You ready? Let's see what let's see what I get at Dollar Tree. Oh, it'd be nice if I could make some money off these vlogging videos. Oh. I hope they don't think I stole these glasses because I bought these glasses here. Maybe they'll see me walk in with them. If they see me walk in with them, then maybe they'll know. Why do they have these? Why do they have these poles? I don't, I never could understand the poles. Maybe so you don't leave the Dollar Tree without them. I've never done this before. I'm actually in a Dollar Tree talking to you. And my videos are supposed to be about food. So what are we getting in Dollar Tree? My Dollar Tree has the, uh, the $5 aisle now. Check that out. Well, the good thing about it is I don't think my, I don't think my phone is going to overheat. It may run out of memory. You know, I used to, you know what, these Xenas right here. I used to love these when I was a kid, but you got to make sure you don't get the leaves wet because they can get molded, especially if you have like regular spigot water, which has chlorine, then it really messes up the leaves. So you want to leave those leaves like as dry as possible. And I know I keep looking, not at you, the viewer, but I'm not used to this. They have all kinds of stuff here at Dollar Tree. What did I come in here for? I came in here for readers. And what else? My shorts are falling down. Let me pull my shorts up. I look like a rag back because I came in here with the same clothes that I was supposed to go to the uh, the pool with. <laughs> All right. You know, the thing I do is, is I always do the same thing like I walk around the store with my keys in my hand then I put my keys down and then I forget where I put my keys so yeah I actually I'm wondering if I could use my my insurance card to pay for readers but Walgreens and CVS is so expensive look at all the different you see what I'm saying? Like they have so many different readers. Like they have a lot. And with me is like I can't see far away, so I have to wear contacts. But then I have to wear readers to see close up. If I have my glasses on, I just take my glasses off and then I'm good to go. So let's see here. And you normally use negative one. Ooh, that's even better. I guess my eyes have gotten bad. This is negative 1.25. I feel weird talking to it. I normally, you know, do it in the car, food reviews. I keep looking. I'm sorry, I need to look at you. Let me try the 1.0. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, my eyes have gotten really bad. So now I'm at the 1.25 already. The 1.50 and see what that is like. Mm. It's 
it's getting a little strong. So I guess I need 1.25. Speaking of glasses and stuff, my contact lenses, they are drying my eyes out today. They always do, though. That's nothing new. This in here. Okay, so let me pause the video and get some glasses. Well, I just got one. It's a small lens, but speaking of really good prices, I get my parchment paper in here. If you know what parchment paper is, it's really good for baking. And don't get it confused with wax paper. It's not the same. Okay. This is also wax paper. And you know what? They're out of parchment paper because probably someone was in... Oh, here it is. This is the parchment paper that I get. So, yeah. Oh, my contacts are drying out. Baking sheets. Let's see, this is cut... You only get five sheets. You get, look at that. 20 feet. So, yeah. Definitely get that. In my opinion you know I may not even get the bleach for the toilet here because now that I think about it I think the ones they have is like so small and I think is it Dollar General I believe I always get them mixed up do y'all get Family Dollar and Dollar General mixed up because I do let me tell you a decent and it's vegan if they have it here it's not amazing but for a dollar or $1.25, it's decent. <gasps> look at this is what I found. Oh my goodness, I gotta come back here, look. They have the kind, this is normally like five or six dollars. But this right here is what I was saying, like this is decent. But the other flavors of this, it's the Philadelphia Water Ice Company, and the other flavors, like I haven't had the lemon, and I haven't had the cherry, but I had, I did review it. I'll send a link below the video on the review for that. I just cannot believe they have the kind. Just look at this. They have they have this one, this one, and this one. I think I'm gonna hide it and come back from the gym. I mean, not the gym, the uh, the pool. deal hello don't you just hate people that hide stuff I'm one of those people but I come back I come back what else oh. that entire box look at that for a dollar twenty-five, you know this company makes vegan ones too. I don't know if you knew that. This yummy brand. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. This is like really heavy. Like how do they? How do they make real chicken? Like this big box for a. Oh no, I'm under the five dollar item. See, so you gotta be careful. And you know what? With the kind, maybe that was a five dollar item. No, it's not. It's a dollar twenty-five item. See, it's a good thing you watch this channel. They now have the $5 items in the frozen food. They didn't have that before. Oh, my contacts are drying out big time. I'm here. <laughs> I might just go ahead and get the bleach anyway while I'm here for the toilet. If I see it. I'll tell you another product that's really good here in a minute, too. If I can find it. Where is it? It's going to show you. They don't have any more. There's a dish soap. And to me, it smells like Paul Mitchell of a pooey. A little bit. And that's not the one. Oh, which one is it? If I see it, I'll know it. I think it's like in a grayish kind of bottle. And I think it's from Dawn. I know it when I see it, but to me, it smells like Paul Mitchell Avapui <laughs> shampoo. Oh, so I, hey, 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 sorry. 
This works pretty good, but the real OxyClean works better. Oh. Please don't look at my teeth because I haven't like deep cleaned them in a long time. But if you want to get a product that will really make your teeth like really white for cheap. So I think I'm gonna go. Um, maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll do a review in the in the when I come out of the pool. So until next time, have an awesome day.